Hello friends, my name is Syed Zishan and welcome to my channel. So this is the Pulsar 220 which is a 2011 model. So in this video, I am gonna clean this brake pads. So actually this brake pads is making very noise and the wheel is also very tight. So that's why I am gonna clean this. So first unscrew this 8mm screw and then unscrew these two caliper bolts so there we go So, and now take the caliper out from the disc rotor. So, press gently out. Actually, if your disc brake is free, the caliper will come out very freely, but my wheel is getting st stuck to the caliper. So, that's why it is very hard to remove. So, remove gently out. So here is the caliper and these are the two brake pads actually these brake pads are work nice and they are not even wear and tear so ha take a look and now we have to remove this clip so we removed and strike and remove that pin and take out the bra two brake pads so that's it guys as you can see the brake pads gone very rust that's why it is making very noise why uh, when I apply the brakes so let's clean these two and you can see that the two holes are the um, pistons which pulls the brakes pulls the brake pads to the disc rotor so let's clean the star and clean the process so take a sandpaper and uh, keep it on a flat surface so that the brake pad wear and tear evenly otherwise the brake pad will not work properly so rub it like th like this you can apply much force as you wish and sand the other brake pad too there we go we cleaned so here are the brake pads and it is looking like a new okay so now clean this caliper too and if you wish to clean much neat apply the petrol to the cloth and uh, clean the upper surface but don't touch don't touch with the um, piston so if you apply the petrol in the piston the piston will not work properly so, so clean this very gently so there we go it's enough now take the brake pads and uh, keep it inside the caliper sorry for the sound <laughs> and 
take the second brake pad and uh, keep it inside the caliper and now insert the pin and uh, insert the clip so that the pin will, will not come out and then before you ins before install to the rotor open these two brake pads so you will place in the rotor very easily now if the brake pads not open then take the screwdriver and open it you must have this gap otherwise the brake pad will not set in the rotor so finally install into the rotor so there we go in gone very easily take the bolts and screw back to its places tight this 8mm screw back to its place and after you install everything make sure you pump the lever otherwise when you go out for a ride the brake may not work and you may meet an accident so don't forget to press this lever so that it will work fine press it several times so thank you guys that's all for this thanks for watching and keep subscribing to this channel